Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. This is a 12 inch by, by 24 inch canvas with Sherwin Williams latex paint, house paint in eggshell added to a thin band around the outside edge to help the pillow I'm going to put in the middle flow more easily. I hope. I'm using an OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula found easily on my Amazon link underneath show more. Amazon link is actually on the link tree which has my website and the gallerist and society six and a whole bunch of places where you can actually have my artwork reproduced on cool stuff. So I'm going to wipe off my spatula toward the center of the canvas so I can have a slightly smaller petal of paint in the center. Whether that's a good idea or not is yet to be seen. I try and change up one aspect of, every, of something I do every time I do it. I'm throwing that in the bucket for right now. I'm going to put my puddle of paint from the center out. And I'm hoping for some black and white cells today. I'm probably doing a scoop and drag, which is what I've become addicted to. And you will too if you have a spinner and the appropriate tools. But I do need enough paint to scoop my, to stick my palette knife in. Although I gotta say, the paint around the edge does help the paint in the middle go further. Now, I'm gonna use a diagonal, I've decided. So if I start like that, this is Indian Spice Gold. It's a prism pour. I could do a V shape. Or I could just be rogue. I'm going to give it a little bit of Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold from Golden. But first, I think I'm going to indulge myself in some orange peel with gold sparkle, which is a prim primary element. And if, if I put too much paint down, I'm not going to have the white cells, black and white cells I want. This is Jasmine. use some Egyptian blue. Jasmine is a primary element. Egyptian blue is a prism pour that I just realized recently. I don't want things too evenly spaced but I tend to wind up doing that anyway. I've got some Rhapsody Rose which I think is a prism pour, excuse me, which I think is a primary element. Take the little tab off the top. And I love the indigo violet. This is another prism pour. I think I just eradicated my chance of black and white cells, but cross your fingers for me, that could change. This is wild orchid. And I was gonna forgo the Royal Sapphire, but I don't think I want to. Now I'm going to use a really long palette knife and some cell activator that's black from Amsterdam. I was going to put some colors in the center. I'm going to use some white. And I think I am going to include a little bit of the Boom Gel Pearlescent Violet right in the center. 
and then some Mayan gold. I'm just going to take my residual paint and probably load up my palette knife again one more time. Maybe if I put a little bit, this could backfire on me. Put a little bit more paint up there and start there. That could help me with my desired result. This time I'm going to put the pearlescent teal and I'm going to get rid of that into the bucket. And I'm going to remember that something I'd like to do recently was to tip my painting to spread the design. But you do need to have enough paint. And anything you get too close to the edge you will lose. So bear that in mind. Now I have a small palette knife but I'm thinking a large one might be a really good idea right now. I'm not sure which one to go for. I still want the small one. Let's start with the small one and get, get brave. Now these are wonderful colors and cells right here. Remember to release the pressure. Oh, those are awesome too. I'm stealing those to put right inside. So when you scoop up your cells, you'll have some resistance. The palette knife will be stuck to the canvas. You'll have to pull up, like I said, to release that. And if you want to keep your cells, you've got to slow down. Like I almost lost those. You can scoop down to canvas, but you're going to have to go back again and cover it up with some paint from somewhere, which is not impossible. The more curves I put in, the happier I am. When I put lines in, I'm not all that happy. Because they will expand when you spin out. Oh, that was a nice batch of cells. Wow. And the more times you do it in general, my experience is the more times you do it, the happier I am anyway. I'm liking the, the vertical pulling things sideways up and down as opposed to crossways. That looks pretty good so far. Even the smallest change at this stage will create a pattern. But like I said, anything on the edge is probably gone. Some of this is less viscous than the rest. Not sure why that would be. I wanted to try this to get a hold of the black and white cells, but I think I'm just going to have to do a white painted canvas with almost no color at all to provoke myself to get what I want. And you, 
can move colors from one place to another. I just lost that area. I want some of that right here. I'm going to borrow some colors. Now 12 by 24 inch canvases are a challenge to spin. But we'll give it our best shot. I may tip one more time. As long as there's paint on the canvas, the paint will spread that's on top of it. Trying to leave a nice variety of colors. This is gorgeous in here. I don't think the paint is very deep there. Hey, look, I got some of my, some of my cells I wanted. Not very many and not much black in there, though. So I do often, and I probably will, take a skewer. I just want to put some more paint down there and spread these beautiful colors on top of it. I think that'll be okay. I'm getting ready. We're almost there. dots and dabs. I like curves. I may put a little more paint on the bottom there since I just removed most of it. Although, since it's going to go anyway, I might as well just spread it back again. This is pretty neat. I learn every time something new that I can do. All right, it's time for me to grab at least the handle of something. That is a spooge there. That's a rut. That's too big of a handle. Let's grab an actual skewer with a little paintball on the end. I'm not sure what I need. But even if I put the tiniest little spiral in, just standing right in place, as long as there's a couple of colors, they're going to spread out. I will figure out how to get more white. I have in the past figured out how to get more white space in. More negative space. Evidently, it's not meant for this one. So should I? That's pretty cool. Let some things flow. Remembering that I will lose everything on my end. Let's go that way. This is going to be intense. I'm going to have to move some stuff out of the way, but not a lot. Alright, I didn't put any extra paint on there, so hopefully that'll be okay. Might as well scrape off my palette knife. Make sure that this is crossways so that it won't hit anything. Make sure it's as far back as I can go without hitting the back wall. That's going to hit. Grab my barrier. Be ready to lean it out.
That's just the paper liner inside my... Sorry I didn't let you peek in between. I should stop and, and have a look and see if there's a reason to put any spirals in there somewhere. Not sure about that white line. Not sure about anything right now. I got three minutes to finish this and I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be kind of cool, actually. I'm trying to figure out which way to spin it. I spin it both ways so the paint will spin off equally. But I've got one spot that's not covered over here. And I think I have to keep spinning it that way to get it to cover. Hopefully without dislodging the painting. The silicone mats are also on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is underneath Show More if I didn't say so. Look for the 20% off color out coupon code underneath Show More also. That's wild. I don't see any uncovered areas. I've got a few on this side. I suppose I could tip it down, but I can also use one of my little acetate tools. That's pretty nice. I think I think I have to call it done. And I think I'm just going to switch sides. So that the side that needs the paint is next to the side that has the paint. Right after I get the paint off my hands. So I'm not going to take the time to do that now, but I'll do it right after the recording ends. So I am going to shimmer this at you if I can. And that's the cells are just going to keep right on developing. Those are beautiful colors. This deserves some resin. I'll probably be torching this. I might also use a skewer. Try not to drop my phone in the painting. I think that's really pretty. I almost accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, which was have different zones, because there's more turquoise over there, more blue over here, more yellow and pink over here, more gold over there. There's a lot of nice little cells. And some really, really big ones. All right, so I love you guys. Take care of each other. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thank you for watching longer. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for your comments that keep my morale boosted and help my standing on YouTube. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link at no added cost to you. You can find my two books there because I can and unlimited possibilities. If there's anything I can help you with, please feel free to ask questions. I do give answers. Um, thank you. Thank you for the donations through PayPal and Patreon, and thank you for joining the membership and enjoying what must be close to a hundred videos by now. Yeah, I'm liking this more and more as I go. Wow. Okay, well that's one minute left. And whatever I forgot to tell you was, you can have whatever you want added to merchandise at Spring Clothing, you see under the video, Society6, Le Gallerist, um, Pixels.com Find Art America has less gear, but it's a good place to shop because it's where I started and most of my stuff is there. On my link tree, you're going to find um, my websites, Lealer, Society6, all that good stuff. Underneath the sh description, you should look down and you'll find the paint pouring recipe. I also have 30 lists of 100 videos that are organized by topic and genre. And if you need a link, a link they're um, available. I have them all organized and I can give them to you. Or you can go to my channel and go to playlists, all playlists, creative playlists. If there's anything I've forgotten to tell you, I'm sure you will see it in another video. I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. I want to say goodbye for now. From Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. I love you guys. Come again. 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pretty much every day. Bye for now. Priscilla out.